Hello, Penn Manor. Let's get ready for course selection. This is Mrs. Long and Mrs. Snyder from the counseling office. We're here to share some essential pieces of information about choosing your courses for next year. Before you begin choosing your classes, think about yourself. What am I good at? What do I enjoy? And what is important to me? By the end of today's flex, you should know why it's important in course selection to choose your courses carefully and connect them to your career path. You'll learn about the course selection timeline. You will learn how to log on to Sapphire and where to access the Penn Manor course selection resources, such as the course selection grade level worksheet and the course selection guide. You're also gonna learn about new classes that you can choose for next year and how to plan ahead using your course plan. What do you need to know about course selection today? You should carefully choose your courses. You want to increase the chances of getting the courses you want. So use the resources that we have and focus on your career ideas and connect how you can select those classes that are related to your interests and, and abilities. This can be a great starting point for you. You will sign up for eight courses and two alternates when the course selection window opens. You're going to, your English, math, social studies, and science courses will be recommended by your current teachers. And then you'll also sign up for these courses using that Sapphire Community Portal account. The course selection timeline starts this week where we're, we're kicking off learning about what to do for course selection. Then on February 3rd, you'll meet back with your Friday Flex teachers and you're gonna learn how to enter your courses in Sapphire. There's also gonna be information on what to do if you have questions at that time. On February 9th, the window will open where you can actually enter those courses in Sapphire. And that evening at Penn Manor, there will be a course selection night. On Friday flex date of February 16th, you will be given time to finish your course selection in your Friday flex. All courses must be entered at that time in Sapphire. You wanna make sure that you get this completed so you get the classes that you want for next year. We will check to make sure you have eight credits and two alternates. And then on February 17th, the course selection window closes. Now we are going to check to make sure you can log into Sapphire. So I want everybody to get out their laptops at this time and try to log into your Sapphire account. If you are unable to log in, you will need to stop by the maid office or the counseling office to get your username and password during the work session, following this presentation, or another time during your day. Check out these resources. So all of our course selection resources are located on our high school website. If you don't know how to get to our website, you can take a look at these directions. You wanna start at the Penn Manor Speed Dial page. In the black toolbar at the top, you will need to click district website, then on the Schools tab, hit the drop-down bar, select the high school. Once you're on the high school webpage, click on the Students tab, then click on Course Selection for 23-24 school year. After you are at the Course Selection for the 23-24 school year, you will see a bunch of resources on there. I would like to direct your attention to the Course Selection Worksheets by grade. Um, you will look at the grade level that you are going into. So ninth graders, you will look at the 10th grade worksheets, 10th grader at 11th grade worksheets, 11th grade at the 12th grade worksheets. We would suggest that you would start here because it's a really nice snapshot of what you can take by that grade level. Once you see that something that you are interested in, then you can go to the course selection guide. You can hit control F and then search that course in the course selection guide read about the course, see if there's any prerequisites that you need in order to take that course. And then again, just to get a really good idea of what is that course? What is it going to teach me? What type of activities am I going to do in there? What am I going to learn? And then also on the course selection tab, you will find my course plan. This tool is there for you so that you can plan out your courses, not only for next year, but also future years. What's new? So, um, you will see that on these slides, we divided it based on different departments. So we have our 
our business and our tech courses. Um, the course change is ninth grade experiencing tech will now be called experiencing technology. This course used to only be offered to ninth graders. Well, now 10th graders, rising 10th graders can also take this course. In art, we have a new course, Drawing and Painting 3. You have to take Drawing and Painting 1 and Drawing and Painting 2 in order to be eligible for this course. Also in art, we have a name change. Commercial art will now be called Graphic Design. English. Pay specific attention to the college prep sequencing for our English classes. If you are interested in checking this out, it'll be on page 47 in the course selection guide. By making these changes to our college prep track, it allows students to have the opportunity to move up to the honors level if they perform well in the college prep classes. In music, we have a name change. Girls Chorus will now be called Treble Chorus. To continue, in physical education, we have a new course, Honors Anatomy. In science, the class did not change, however, the credit did. So AP Environmental Science will no longer be year long. Instead, it'll be one semester, one credit. And then last, Virtual Blended Learning. Some of you may know this as open campus or ingenuity classes that you can take for one of your classes during your school day. So name change, open campus is now called VL or virtual learning. Blended virtual learning classes are offered to grades 10 through 12. You can find these opportunities listed in the course selection guide. So what to do next? We are going to wrap up this presentation but we wanted to um, let you know that you should use the remainder of this flex time to start developing your course plan for next year. Really start looking at the courses, um, start to look at the ones that you're interested in, ones that you wanna know more about, talk to your teachers. You can certainly reach out to your counselor if you have any questions, but you really wanna start planning so that when that course selection window opens, you have a good idea of what you are going to enter um, so that you can get it in by the deadline. And again, you're choosing courses that are meaningful to you. Listed below are all the counselors and the last names that go with those counselors. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.